you for joining me today on Security Nibbles. Um, as you can see here, we've got two very specific things up. On the right, you can see the Metasploit Framework Console, MSF Console. And then on the left, you can see Exploit Pack. Now, this is a trial copy of Exploit Pack. Um, I have not paid for uh, the all access or access to one of the higher tiers. And then equally, I'm not working with Metasploit Pro in this case. This is just the framework. So we're going to talk a bit about the differences between these two at a high level, some of my thoughts, and uh, just some final conclusions there. But before we get started, don't forget to uh, like or share this content, subscribe to this channel, and please remember to visit our Patreon page. The link is in the description below. Anything you can do there is always appreciated and it will help to support additional content as well as uh, licenses for tools and additional exploration of technologies that are out there. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Both of these are pretty easy to get started. So the Metasploit framework, I'm running Kali Linux, it comes pre-installed. So that's, that's pretty simple. And then we run MSF console and it pops everything up here in the banner area. And then I just ran a few commands to kind of show some syntax here and what could be uh, at a high level described as, as key components to uh, the framework. Now on the left hand side, Exploit Pack uh, provides a GUI environment and the initial setup instructions were pretty straightforward. I cloned the Git repository and then uh, you know looked at the readme and everything ran smoothly. So there were no hiccups here. Now, that is about, uh, as far as being smoothly installed, the key differences or the key similarities between these two. So when you look at Metasploit and what it has to offer, the Pro Edition has something to the tune of 3,000 plus uh, exploits that it advertises, while Exploit Pack boasts a huge 38,000 uh, as far as the number of exploits that it has. So that may be more uh, than you would ever uh, need in that respect. Now, the Exploit Pack is an open source project. It has been for some time. And um, with the paid sub, there comes access to additional areas. So as you can see down here, I'm currently using a trial copy of this. So really, I can see the exploits. I can kind of click through a few things and look through menus and modules. And I can even see some of those modules as well. But where I start to run into trouble is if I click off of any of the main areas here, uh, I get met with a uh, essentially a paywall, which is fine in this case because really what they're providing in this trial or in this freemium uh, version of this is access to the 400 plus or minus exploits that are boasted on the site. With the Metasploit framework, we have immediate access to everything that is kind of shown here at the top, which is the 2002 exploits, uh, auxiliary modules, knobs, etc. The kind of crutch here is that you have to be familiar with the environment and you have to be able to navigate it using the commands. Now, something I wanted to mention, both of these vendors, uh, both the people who have produced and taken care of Metasploit, as well as the individuals that have Exploit Pack have copious documentation. So uh, this is just offensive securities repository of Metasploit commands and things that you can do, um, as well as the information and instructions for Exploit Pack, as you can see on their site and their information. You can learn and do just about anything you want with each of these tools based on the resources that are available. Now, I wasn't able to find a lot of resources for Exploit Pack outside of what the vendor provided. And with Metasploit, there are a number of produced videos and things of that nature out there. Now, some key differences that you'll have here, Exploit Pack for its commercial edition, or essentially its, its pro version, its premium version, is about $680 a year US dollars. Whereas Metasploit Pro, which is where you can get access to a GUI and uh, a little bit more hardcore tool sets as far as being able to run reports and do things of that nature, will set you back uh, to the tune of several thousand dollars. So if you're looking to uh, find a tool that's going to help you do streamline penetration testing at a low cost, Exploit Pack may be the way to go. Now, I haven't had the opportunity to really run deeply through the modules, the reporting wizard, things of that nature, just because I keep running into this wall. Um, and with the lack of videos and other um, bits of information outside of what, again, the provider has, the vendor has, it just seems like it may be something that I would want to do a little more research on 
allow it to maybe, you know, uh, if they had a trial version where I could run this for 30 days without having to uh, put out the $600, I could potentially spend the $100 US for uh, the one month access, but that still has a reduced set of functionalities and features. Now, uh, another thing to keep in mind with Metasploit as well is because it's so well developed, uh, there is uh, some modules and things that you can run. There is a package within Kali actually called Armitage which provides GUI functionality. So if you're just trying to get off the ground floor as a security tester um, and you're looking for a place to hang your hat as far as exploitation frameworks as well as auxiliary modules, things of that nature that can help you through the process of doing your testing, uh, I'm going to continue to say that the Metasploit framework as well as some of the things that they've developed are good. Now, when it comes to paying for a subscription and paying for those tools, uh, it may be worth better understanding Exploit Pack and what it has to offer given the high number of additional exploits and its boast of providing uh, zero day uh, exploits as well when those become available. But for now, I would definitely continue to hang my hat on the Metasploit framework and uh, the things that it has to offer. So with that, Thank you very much. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, until we meet again.